Okay, so this is a video um, which is going to show how, based on the latest Pix and Sight release um, that was made on the December the 18th, 2020, uh, version 1887, um, the Pix and Sight developers have improved the um, or the photometric uh, color calibration side of, of Pix and Sight or the process for that. So what they've been working on is an XPSD, which is extensible point source database, um, which is a new database format that they've developed for fast and efficient access to large astrometric um, star catalogs. So as part of this, um, they've released an update which uses some database files, which is based on something called Gaia EDR3 and APAS DR10. Um, and those databases, I'll show how to download locally um, and set the, uh, the, the calibration up to use those instead. And also it's timely that um, it, as, a, as of recording this, um, there's actually an issue with talking to the remote servers um, when it comes to the photometry catalogs. So I'm just running um, an example here on just a, an image that I've loaded. It doesn't particularly matter the image, um, but you'll see here in the, the console um, an error message saying there's been an unknown error uh, to short response. Now, from my understanding, this issue is not on PICS and sites side, but it is on the side of the third party or the supplier um, of the catalogs that Pix and Side uses. So anyway, um, you know, there's no no straightforward fix for that specifically. However, as I said, it's timely to download the databases or the the catalogs locally, um, and that should get around this issue. So let's move forward, and I'll show you how to start downloading um, and using the catalogs locally. Okay, so first of all, where do we download the uh, database files from? So from the Pix and Site website, if you browse to downloads and software distribution and log in with your account details, you'll be then taken to the list of distribution files. And the ones that we are looking for is APAS DR10. And this is the file here, 2.4 .4 gigabyte in size. Um, so we'll download that file. And the other set is the Gaia EDR3. So at the minimum, what you will need is this second one in the row, the, um, the one that is less than 16.59 on the magnitude range. However, if you want to go for higher magnitudes, then you will also require the other database files. But at a minimum, um, you'll probably need this first one. So let's download um, the two files, and then we'll talk about where to move them to, and also how to actually install them into Pix and Site. Okay, so the two files are downloaded, and I've just created a Pix and Site database folder, um, and I've moved the two files there. You can call this folder or place this folder wherever you wish, um, but as long as you place them two files in there, because we'll need them in the same within Pix and Site. Um, at this point, you don't have to unzip um, or unarchive the files; they're just used as is from the download. So let's now go into Pix and Site and see how we use them. Okay, so within Pix and Site, if we go to Process and Star Catalogs, and we need to load APAS. And we repeat that again for process, star catalogs, Gaia. And within here, this is where we're going to um, load up the database files. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that the data release is set to APAS DR10. And within the tool or the config or the preferences, um, if we click on that, it'll load a window asking us where the database files are. So click on select and browse to where you've placed the files as I showed you before. And for this one here, we'll obviously want to click on APAS DR10. Click on open and click on OK. Now the next thing we need to do is apply those settings. 
So we just click on the circle, which is apply global. And that um, tells Pix and Site that for the APAS 10 process, we want to use the, uh, the database file that we've just selected. Okay, so we can now close the APAS and do the same thing with Gaia. So we want the EDR3 selected. Down to the uh, preferences, click on select and point to the EDR or the GEDR3 file. Click on open, click on OK, and then click on apply global. Okay, so that's that's completed there and we can now close the Gaia project. So if we go back to the photo uh, color calibration process, um, I've already populated things here with the parameters of the focal length, pixel size, etc. for this image. And the two areas we need to do, we need to uncheck automatic catalog and we may need to make sure that Gaia ED3 XPSD is selected. And for the photometry parameters, uncheck automatic catalog and make sure that the DR10 is selected. And then this time when we run the photometric color calibration process, in the process console window, it should now th run through without any um, process and errors. So we'll just let that run now so we can see. Okay, so the color calibration is now completed um, without any errors um, within the process console. And obviously if I just restretch the image we can see now that the color calibration, et cetera, has been completed using the local database files. Um, so I hope that video helps you download the database files, where to find them, um, how to install them and or apply them to Pix and Site and uh, proof that the database files are now running locally as opposed to remotely, um, hence or since we won't get any error within the process console anymore. Thank you.